it's not my course. It's our course, and that's the way that we, we lead and operate. It's the teams, it's the memberships, it's Bell Reeve. You know, that's the great part of being a part of a club as historic as Bell Reeve, that you're just a part of history. So it's not one individual, it's a, a group. Hey everybody, it's Seth Jones, Editor-in-Chief of Golfdom Magazine. I'm out at the 100th PGA Championship. Here at, at, it's, uh, I'm being joined by the one and only Reese Jones, possibly a cousin of mine. We don't know for sure. I'm, I'm sure that's probably the case. Probably so. The Open Doctor is here at the PGA Championship. And Reese, i got to ask you, how cool is it to be at a course that you have such a family history at again, and now they're back in St. Louis, beautiful course, and, and you're here right in the middle of it all? Well, this is a, a great experience for me because we started working here 13 years ago with the vision of having another major championship. We've had the senior PGA, we've had a BMW event, uh, but this is uh, this is Broadway, so it's pretty exciting. And working on, on one of my father's courses and bringing it into the 21st century has been a real pleasure. Well, I'll put you on the spot. What did your dad tell you about this course? What was, what was his thoughts on this property? Well, he this was always one of my father's favorite golf courses. Um, he had a great piece of land. Uh, the club moved in the late 50s and started working in 1960 um, and he had an opportunity to build a true championship golf course because that's what the club wanted. Hort Harden was involved to some degree, he was the chairman of the Augusta National uh, and this is a huge sports town that has huge sporting events and has a great baseball team. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> uh, so for our readers, Golfdom, uh, the superintendents out there, anything you want to point out to these guys about uh, some of the changes you guys made that uh, they might find interesting? Well, this is a transition zone. Uh, from your standpoint, it's a hard place to grow grass. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> so we've been doing different ideas to, to grow grass. We used the zoysia, we took the zoysia, put in fescue, and then we put the zoysia back on the face of the bunkers. Uh, this is A1A4 bent grass. Uh, it's held up pretty well. Uh, the collars on, on the newer bent grasses do have a little more of a problem with the higher cut when you get heat in the 90s. Um, so they've resodded the collars for this event, uh, which has worked out very well. The greens are actually in very, very good shape. The players like them. Uh, and I think it's going to be a very, very good championship. And uh, the better the greens, the lower the scores. So uh, I think you're going to probably see some low scores. I'm fine with that. The course looks great. We're looking forward to having a, a fun week out here. Let me ask you this. Uh, working with a guy like Carlos Orea, he's, he's done such a, a, a job out here in, the, in, a, in a rough summer. And uh, I know that you, you guys get along real well. Talk to me about uh, working with him and his crew. Well, I have the highest respect for Carlos Araya. Um, he um, came here under John Cunningham. John Cunningham left, and uh, they, they liked Carlos so much uh, that they gave him the responsibility of taking them through this major championship. And I can't say that uh, anybody's done a better job under the conditions he's been presented with than Carlos has uh, for the maintenance of the grass and having it in such great condition for this championship. This is August. We had month, uh, the month of May was brutally hot. Uh, we really had a very bad winter. Um, and then uh, it's just uh, been hot and uh, very dry. So uh, for him to have the golf course in such great condition is a credit to him. It's a credit to the club of Belle Reve. It's a credit to their working together. And then Carlos got them to shut the greens down uh, for a period of time and then shut it down in June for the rest of the, the summer until the championship. So. I have to credit Carlos for his abilities, his agronomic knowledge, as well as ability to work with the club membership. Fantastic. Reese, I know you don't like to, to brag any, but uh, where does this put you at now? What, brag to me about your resume a little bit now that you got uh, another PGA coming. Well, I'll be the only golf course architect to ever have two PGA remodeled golf courses within eight months, because next year the PGA is in May. There you go. So I'm in the, and I will always have that title because this is the last one in August, the next one's in May at, Bell, at, at Beth Page. So I will have that title forever. You'll be the only one. So congratulations. <laughs> All right. Well, here it first. <laughs> Reese, always good to see you. Thanks for taking the time. Okay. Thank okay. You. This is Reese Jones, the Open Doctor. I'm Seth Jones. <laughs> Thanks for watching Golfton TV.